Yo, what's good, world? What it do, peeps? It's your boy, Stefan. Hitting you with another live stream. All right, there. So if you like this stuff, if you like this topic, go ahead and click that like button. All right. If you want to share the knowledge, click that share button. So y'all see the title of the video. We're going to talk about how to dance. All right. And specifically, just so y'all know, what I'm, what I'm planning on doing from here on out, yes, I'm going to keep talking about the mindset stuff and the confidence stuff. And, but what I'm really going to start doing uh, is I'm going to start diving into more, more of how to dance. All right. I'm going to start um, focusing more on people who are either like beginner dancers so people who are trying to get into dancing or I'm going to focus more on like how to really provide valuable content to dancers specifically. All right. At least for a couple of years until I move into a different plan, which I'll talk to y'all about that later. But anyway, so we're going to talk about how to dance. All right. So if you're feeling stiff, yeah, thanks for the like, Raymond. If you're feeling stiff. If you are, you know, uh, you're feeling like a robot, but not the robot in a good isolated way. All right. You're not, not that type of robot. It's that stiffness. You can't flow. You're having a hard time flowing. You're having a hard time being in the moment while you're dancing, all right? And you really want to start feeling the music, but you can't, all right? So you're having a hard time enjoying yourself. Then this video is for you, okay? Uh, because I remember the days whenever I was feeling stiff, whenever I couldn't really flow, whenever picking what move to do and when was a hard time, all right? And... Uh, the only way I could do moves was if my dance teacher showed me moves, okay? It taught me choreography. I had a really hard time flowing. So we really want to address this in the video because whenever you can learn how to flow, dancing can be a really good time, all right? Whenever you can learn how to be fluid and add that life to your dancing, you can really start to enjoy yourself, not just personally, but socially as well, all right? Not saying you got to go and jump in the middle of circles, but you can if you want to, all right? If you want to dance with, with a, little, a, a little significant other, okay? You can apply these tips. Meet somebody at the club. You can apply these tips right here. Or if you just want to freestyle. I thought about doing like a segment on like how to dance like with a, a partner and stuff like that. I might, I might do that series like way down the line. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, so this is a good video. So here's a solution, all right? If you're having this problem, all right, you have a problem adding life to your dance. What you have to learn how to do, okay, is you have to learn how to groove. And let me explain to you what a groove is. A groove is a bounce to the rhythm of the music, okay? And so let me share this story with you. Before, for a long time, many of y'all know, I didn't even really have any training as a dancer. I just kind of practiced myself. And uh, then I started traveling to Chicago to take classes and learn from like some really top notch, really, really good elite dancers. And uh, I had a guy, uh, I won't name drop, sometimes I name drop, but he took me under his wing and he says, Stefan, you know, you, uh, you know, you're good at what's your musicality, your musicality is cool, you know, um, you, got, you got a rhythm. Um, you know, you got the facials. He's like, but there's one thing, your footwork's cool, your hands are cool, whatever, but there's one thing that you're missing. He's like, you're missing life in your dance. And I'm like, what do you mean by life? What does that even mean? You know, I got my facials, I got energy. What do you mean? And he said, what the key to adding life to your dance is to groove, all right, is to have a bounce in your movement, okay? And the more creative you get, with your dancing, the different types of bounces you can do. We're not going to get into that for this video, all right? But you have to start adding a bounce to your movement, okay? And to be able to do that, to really be able to groove and add that bounce, whether you're bouncing side to side, whether you're bouncing up and down, whether you're mixing that together, whenever you're bouncing off a certain position, okay? You have to add that bounce. It's not just about hitting the movements, which is what a lot of us do, is just getting there, but no bounce, okay? Boom, bah, bah, bah. It's different. You, start, you see the difference. So you have to add that bounce. So the key to adding that bounce is what I call torso activation. Let's backtrack. Let's backtrack a little bit. That bounce, if you think about it, that bounce is everywhere, all right? If you see people having a good time, what are they doing? They're bouncing, 
Okay, if you are getting hype, what are they doing? They're bouncing. Okay, what's the difference between a mover and a dancer? It's the bounce. Universally, dance everywhere. You see people dancing, what are they doing? They're bouncing. All right, and on top of that, the key to, the key to really adding this groove is what we call torso activation. Okay? Torso activation is whenever we activate our shoulders, our hips, and our spine. Okay, so the reason why and uh, shoulders activate your shoulders, your hips and your spine to really be able to add that bounce. So I'm bouncing my shoulders. I'm bouncing my spine from side to side, bouncing my hips from side to side, up and down or whatever. And if you begin to start to add that type of stuff into your dancing, your dancing is going to get way better and you're going to have a good time. There's something about that bounce that makes us feel good. There's something about the bounce. What it does is it changes the chemical makeup in your body, the chemical structure in your body. Well, maybe that's too big a word. What it does is it changes your physiology. All right, bouncing around starts to fill our body with good chemicals, the chemicals that make us feel good, the chemicals that make us feel confident, all right? The chemicals that help us get into that flow fluid state, all right? They call them flow states. Whenever you're really in the moment, those chemicals help you get there. All right? And one of the key uh, catalysts or right, one of the doors to getting into that place is bouncing around and dancing, which is why so many people love to dance, which is why dance isn't just an American thing. It's, it's not just a black people thing. It's not just a white people thing. It's a universal thing. Like why? There's only so much that we all freaking do. Like all over the country, like everybody eats in the world or all over the globe. You know, everybody eats, everybody drinks water, okay, everybody sleeps, you know, everybody shits and pees and all that fun stuff. Everybody's got to breathe air, okay? That's, that's universal, but so is dance. All over the globe, everybody's dancing. All ages, you have little kids dancing, you have teenagers, you have young adults, you have adults, you have the old folks, all right? Everybody's dancing. So, I don't even know how I got on that tangent, but if, <laughs> I just kind of went off, but if you want to dance, all right, you want to activate your torso, you want to use your shoulders, your spine, okay? A lot of people, they just focus on, this is different. And this is going to help you add life to your dance. And this is what my mentor was explaining to me. He says, Stefan, you know, the key to adding life into your dance is through grooving. I say, how do you groove? He says, it's that bounce to the rhythm. All right. But there's also this torso activation that you got to use because, and I've shared this before, your heart's where? Why is your torso the key to life in your dance? Your heart's where? In your torso. Your spine's where? In your torso. Your vitals, your organs are where? In your torso. Okay? Babies are grown where? In a woman's torso. Right? And to make the baby, for my adults in this video, you got to use some torso activation. All right? You see what I'm saying? So, whenever we dance and we just focus on our hands and our feet and our facials, we start to miss out on some things, all right? So, Mohammed, uh, what's hello, Steph? What's up, bro? So, if you want to start adding life to your dance, you have to start using torso activation. And this is different because a lot of people try to just focus on their facials. A lot of people try to focus on their, their clean. Be clean, be clean, be sharp, be tight. We hear that a lot, okay? A lot of people just try to focus on their footwork. What do I do with my hands? Where do I put my hands? Whenever what they're really missing is... A bounce to their movement, and what they're missing is torso activation. All right? So here's some action steps for you. If you want to improve your dancing, if you want to start having a good time, and you want to start flowing, all right, if you're tired of, like, feeling unconfident while you dance, and you really want to dance, but you just feel unconfident whenever you do it, if you're tired of feeling stiff, if you're tired of, like, you know, just only get having fun, whatever. If, you just, if you're tired of just, like, oh, I want to dance, but I feel like I got to get drunk as fuck to be able to do it. I got to turn up to be able to dance and move and flow. All right? If you're tired of feeling your body, and I'm not saying go out and drink every now and then. Whatever. That's cool. Do you. All right? But if you're tired of, like, feeling like you have to flood your body with toxic chemicals, all right, that's going to make you feel like shit the next day and ruin, you know, and ruin your work and productivity. If you're tired of that, then, you know, start applying these tips. You got to learn how to groove. You got to learn how to reach that flow state, that type of confidence without the liquid, without the liquid juice, all right, without that secret sauce. 
Now, I'm, once again, I'm not saying never do it, never turn. I'm not saying that, all right? But you want to know how to get there without the secret sauce, all right? Without that juice called a liquid courage in college, <laughs> in my fraternity, all right? You want to learn how to get there without the liquid courage. So if you want to start flowing, you want to start enjoying yourself, all right? You got to learn how to groove. You got to learn how to bounce. Add that bounce to your movement. It's going to put you in. It's going to, unless you have something totally wrong with your brain, which you might need some therapy then, what it's going to do is it's going to start filling your body with the good chemicals, all right, from bouncing around and moving, all right? It's going to fill your body with the good chemicals, and then you're going to start to be able to enjoy yourself. And once your body's filled with good chemicals, that's whenever you reach that flow state, and that flow state, oh, dude, I was in the moment. I was dancing around, Stephanie, and I was just really in the moment for the first time. Yeah. Whenever I'm dancing and I get stuck on something, if I'm freestyling and I get stuck, what you'll find me doing is I'll just go into a bounce. I'll just go into a groove, whether that's a slow groove or like a, like a heavier, or a, I call these bantam grooves, smaller, faster grooves, okay? It helps me find the next move. It helps me get in a little state where I'm in the moment. My homie Duran said, I need that lecture. Yeah. Yeah. I see, I see Duran killing it in the club. All right. So, action steps. Check it out, guys. If you want to start learning how to groove, what you want to do is you want to find a song that gets you hype. Find a song that you like. Find a song that you want to start feeling. Okay? And play the song. This is all you have to do. Play the song and bounce around to that shit. All right? And you can switch up your bounces. Go... Bounce, 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 bounce off beats, bounce side to side, all right, boom, 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 we call those rebounds, to doom, all right, there's so many different ways you can bounce, but you need to get, play a freaking song, you need to start bouncing around, and while you bounce around, don't get caught up in your hands, don't get caught up in what to do with your feet, okay, don't get caught up in your facials, all right, work on moving your shoulders, Work on moving your torso, work on moving your hips, and add a bounce to those movements. And then what you'll begin to see is that the hands come. Like the, the, what to do with your hands can kind of come. What to do with your feet will start to come. And your facials, it's easier to feel, right? It's easier to feel, and then you'll have natural facials. It's like, you know, those people, like, you see them, like, hey, how you doing? Like, ah, I'm good, ah. And you're like, uh, are you really good? And they're like, ah, no, no, I'm not. I'm not good. <laughs> and then they start to cry, what's up, boo boo? All right. That's what you look like whenever you're dancing and you're just trying to work on your facials, but you are just like not feeling confident on the inside. That's what you look like. So we don't want to do that. All right. Like I said, guys, I'm going to be dropping a lot of this stuff. I'm going to be releasing a lot of tips from here on out. If you don't know what grooves to do, all right, and you get bored with just bouncing around, you're applying, you're like, Stefan, all right, I've been bouncing around the music for a week, all right, I need to do something, you know, your boy drops a groove drill, you go to my flow drills, learn some flow drills, little bite-sized pieces of moves that you can learn, it don't take no time, it's just repetitive, all right, watch my groove series, all right, if you want to get even more liquid with it, watch some of my wave series, okay, if you want to add the groundwork with it and get the full body workout, watch my groundwork series, okay, if you want to get extra, extra, extra with it, you can watch my inverted series, all right? It's all on my Instagram. Go to my Instagram if you want access to all those drills. They're on my Facebook, too, but you're going to have to, like, scroll down a lot. So, I guess you can go to my videos. Go to my Instagram if you want to. Find them on Facebook if you want to, all right? I'm about to start uploading these on YouTube. That's a whole other talk within itself. So, start playing some music. Start grooving around so you can have a good time. It's your boy Stefan. I'm going to be dropping a lot of content, a bunch of live streams, a bunch of videos, a bunch of flow drills. Um, go vote in my stories. In my stories, um, I, I'm heavy in my stories, especially on Instagram. Um, go vote on, I did a little poll. I'm thinking about doing some bite sized choreo. All right. I'm thinking about starting eight count choreography, meaning um, instead of like teaching, you know, a 40 second routine or whatever combination to give you guys a tutorial i'm gonna do it more bite size so we're gonna do like eight counts all right just teach you a little eight count of movement patterns to some random song we're gonna see about how that goes but i'm doing a poll in my story so go leave a vote right there all right make sure you guys like this video 
Make sure you comment. If you have questions, concerns, shoot me a message. Um, yeah, other than that, keep an eye on all my stories. I love you guys. It's your boy Stefan. Go out there, dance. Have a good time. Peace.